If you're looking for one of the most magical things to do in the Cotswolds and one of the cutest small towns in England, come follow me away as we visit Stow on the Wall. Before we get started, make sure to pack that like button in your carry-on along with the subscribe and share and come with me to explore the countryside in England. So today we are in rainy Stow on the Wall, England. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is the coolest, I wouldn't say hidden gem, but the coolest thing to do in this part, which is in this St. Edward's churchyard. So it is this old door. It is centuries old. It's called the yew tree door. So let's go find it. Now that famous door is set right here in St. Edward's church, which was built in the 11th and 12th centuries and then added more on in the 14th centuries. How to find the yew tree door. If you're coming off of Church Street, you're gonna enter those gates and then we're gonna come into St. Edward's courtyard. And then all we're going to do is just walk around, which again, I'm just showing you guys a first person point of view just so that you can see um, where we're going. Remember that these doors are very old and very historical. As you can see, we are in kind of a gated area uh, in the churchyard. And then as we round this bend, there's often a couple people and you will see the famous yew tree doors. Welcome to the yew tree door. Now, this door is said to have inspired Tolkien when he was writing Lord of the Rings because he visited this area quite a lot during the time. Now, we aren't 100% sure if that's true because this is just local legend, but it sure looks like it. This door was placed here in the 13th century and so it's a couple hundred years old but yew trees can grow for up to 3,000 years so yew trees are an ancient tree now, i'm not saying that these specific trees are 3,000 years old but they could grow to be that so who knows what this door will look like centuries from now my favorite thing at this hobbit door is these old this old um, wrought iron it's for i believe cleaning your boots back in the day and you can see how the tree grew around it and it used to just go across like this so then people would just put their shoes on and then scrape their boots on it before going into the church but now it's just been reclaimed by nature and i think that that's just absolutely incredible of course, the best time of day for visiting this magical hobbit door is any time you're in Stow on the Wall. There is no bad time. But if you're coming here to take photos, of course, the best time of day will either be during the morning or during the evening at sunset. But the sunset, if it's not a cloudy day, can be quite harsh um, as the sun is going to be setting directly on it. We did come for sunset one day. But if you're coming from sunrise, there will not be any direct sunset on the, or sunrise on the door. So that would be a really easy thing um, to do if you're in the area and you want to get this door without the crowds. Once you are done with the yew tree door, there are other ancient yew trees in this courtyard for the church and in this graveyard, which are, of course, nice to see. And then these lovely um, ancient headstones if you are into looking at gravestones this is a wonderful place remember that this is a place of worship and a place that people are buried so please make sure to be respectful when visiting the yew tree door in stow on the wall let's check out the inside of saint edward's church which again is where the famous hobbit doors are located Since it's a place of worship, we're going to be very quiet and just show you the inside. Now, I didn't want to speak too loudly because this is a place of worship, but that was the inside of St. Edward's Church in Stow on the Wall. Come check out my favorite street in Stow on the Wall, which is Church Street. It is right here outside of the church gates for St. Edward's Church. Now, it is a working street and cars can go down it but like how absolutely gorgeous and magical is this street like this is what i'm talking about when i say i want to go to the cotswolds like it's perfect english small town vibes stow on the wald is a medieval town and it was founded in the 11th century isn't that so amazing and for context 
United States, where I'm from, was founded in 1776. So this town is hundreds and hundreds of years older than the USA. Stowe on the Wald was founded in the 11th century, which means that it is a medieval town. It was originally called Edward Stowe, but the name has now been changed to Stowe on the Wald, which I think is just way cuter. Welcome to Sheep Street. This is one of the busiest roads in Stowe on the Wald. As you can see, we are here during high season and there is quite a lot of traffic. So why is it called Sheep Street? Let me tell you. This busy road through the center of Stowe on the Wald is called Sheep Street because of the amount of sheep that they used to sell here back in the day. Now, during his travels to the Cotswolds and Stowe on the Wald, Daniel Defoe once visited here and recorded that in one single day, they sold over 20,000 sheep, which I think is like, that's a crazy amount of sheep. So hence the name Sheep Street. Now, one of the things to do in Stowe on the Wald that's very popular is there are a lot of antique shops. So if antique shops are your thing, just walk around this little cute medieval town and there will be a lot. There are quite a few of antique shops. It kind of reminds me of New Orleans because they also have a lot of antique shops. All right, let's head out to High Street, which is one of the main streets in the Cotswolds, along with the main square and learn some more fun facts about Stowe on the Wall. Welcome to the Stowe on the Wald main square. I think this is one of the prettier main squares in the Cotswolds. But first, let's talk about like how the heck did this town even get its name and what does it mean? Now, how does Stowe on the Wall get its name? So Stowe means church or holy place and Wald means hill. So since we are on top of an 800 foot hill, it means holy place that is sitting on top of a hill, Stowe on the Wall, which again, if you think about it, makes sense. I absolutely love all of these buildings that are built with the Cotswolds limestone from local quarries. And I think that this part of the main square with the King's Arms and the posting house are just the absolute cutest, some of the best buildings in the Cotswolds. All right, we are going to go inside and check out Hufkin's Bakery and Tea Room. This place looks really good. Let us see what there is. They have jams. And mainly why I'm coming here is they have these amazing eclairs and pastries. This is the one I'm getting. I'm a huge eclair girly. They also have other things like all butter croissants and cheese scones. But again, I'm coming for the chocolate eclair. They also have the raspberry eclair and the coffee eclair. Here is the little seating area and where you can do tea. It's really cute. They even have an upstairs area. I'm not seating today. I'm just doing a takeaway, but I just wanted to show you. Here is the upstairs where you can have afternoon tea with a view of Stowe on the Wall. How cute is this? I love it. All right, let's check it out. Three amazing eclairs and a delicious brownie. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. I also ended up getting some tea and coffee, which are the house blends from here and then a local tea, it's gonna be good. Now, Stowe on the Wald is one of the most popular towns in the Cotswolds and it is for a reason because this place is gorgeous. So if you are coming here as part of your Cotswolds itinerary, I do recommend spending at least one to two hours here. You could spend even longer. You could base here if you are staying in Northern Cotswolds for your vacation. I do recommend walking around through to the yew tree door, getting a little coffee or pastry while you're here, hitting some of the shops and that will take minimum one to two hours but i've been back here like five times on the same trip because i think it's so gorgeous and so cute but i have not yet gotten to stay here hopefully on a future trip i saw a little store that i liked up here and we're gonna go check it out it's like a wool market and again since snow on the wall is popular for um the wool and the sheep back in the day i think this place is gonna be cool so let's go it is this store it is called lamb's world and i think it's all like hand knit and wool based things so we're gonna go in and it indeed is filled with a lot of wool products. There are moccasins, there are socks and bags, there are sheepskins. This place is so cute and I love some locally made things. 
when you are in uh, Stone on the Wall, don't forget to go down through some of these little alleyways. This one is called Talbot Court. There is lots more things that are down that are just not on the main square or on Sheep Street. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, it smells so good because there's like a coffee shop right here. And if you just keep going, it opens up to this big area, which is filled with tons more shops and restaurants. So make sure to get off the beaten path. Oh my gosh, this place has sourdough, fresh baked daily. I'm not going to get any of that today, but you could. And here is just a peek inside that bakery. That looks so delicious. Oh my gosh, those scones. There is so much to explore in Stow on the Wall. I hope that you enjoyed this short introduction into this beautiful medieval city. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next time.